Hey, it's Sophie Student here, and today we're going to be creating a small program that takes in a file, or more often a directory, and then we'll go into the directory, find all the files and the directories inside this directory, and then again inside the new directories, go into those, find all the files directories, into the print the files, go into the directories, and so on, so on, and so on. We'll just create this loop, and we're going to be doing it recursively. So first, I will define when we should stop going further. So it's simply if our file given to this call is a file, then I would just simply print my file dot get absolute path. And then also have some numbers where I have a number of directories, a number of files, just for the sake of it, just counting how many files we're actually going through and how many directories. So I would just simply have a number of files plus plus, which means added by one. However, else if, or just else, because there will be all the cases, so it's not a file, then it is a directory, then we would simply again add the number of directories. I am then going to create a list, so a file, array, not a list, let's just call it files, which is going to be my given file dot list of files. In this way, we are able to have a list of all the files inside our directory, specific specified directory. I will then just use a simple for loop. Just do for each. So for each file, file one inside files, we would just simply call our find files on this file. And if it's then just a normal file, we would just print the full path and add one to number of files. However, if it's again is a directory, we then go inside this one and then you just keep going until the end and then back and forth and back and forth and finding all and printing all the files. Let's add just a little touch to be to get our number of directions of our files by actually just overriding our two string to have it print number of files, number of directories, and number of files. So now let's create a static void main where we will create a new find files object. So for us to be able to find our files and directories, we would need to give it a file as an input. So I will just first, let's just create a string file path. And I just chose, just for the sake of it, let's just use the file we're working in. Just do it like that. And then just gonna create a file. And that's going to take my file path. I am then going to call my find files object dot find files with my newly created file. And I'm then afterwards going to be printing my object to get my number of directories and number of files. So let's try running it. So as you can see, we'll get all these software finding files, IDE, git ignore. That's actually because we first, when we start, we first go inside my IDE because that's the first directory it finds. We then print git ignore. Git ignore, misc, modules, workspace. Then we'll go back, go to next directory, out, go inside, out. Go inside production, go into <laughs> inside finding files, and print a find files dot class, which is this one. So as you can see, just keep going in as long as it's a directory, and then we'll just backstep when we are done. But 
It was the short little program on create today, showcasing recursiveness, showcasing how we recursively pretty easy, actually pretty easily can find all the files and directories from a given path. So if you enjoyed this short video, please do like and subscribe and I wish you all a wonderful day.